barely a cloud in the sky here at Murray Stadium in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. Two really good college football programs going at it. Mount Union leading Westminster here 35-7 as we get you set for third quarter action. Chad Krispinski, Chris Birch with you alongside our sideline reporter Marcus Tokar who's down on the field and we'll send it down to him and get an update. Marcus? Hey guys, after talking to uh, Coach Benzel, he said to me his big thing he wants from his team this second half, these Westminster Titans, he wants them to fight. He says these guys are exhausted right now. They are tired. He goes, my big thing, I do not want to see them quit. I want them to see them to fight all the way till the end. So Coach Benzel still being very optimistic of his team. Thank you, Marcus. And that's the job of the coaching staff to, to keep those guys motivated, to keep their heads up. And albeit a lopsided score, you want to continue to improve because as both coaches told us, you can simulate this in practice as much as you want, but there's no better simulation than real game reps. Look, when you schedule the number one team in the country for your opener, you, you're, you're, you're thinking, yeah, we're going to go and try to win. But what you're doing when you do that is you're trying to get a whole bunch of learning lessons from that game to take into your conference schedule. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt about it. There's a whole lot to be gained from this game, you know, in this second half, regardless of the score for this Westminster team as they start their President's Athletic Conference schedule here in two weeks. So we're all set for the third quarter. And it will be Mount Union getting the football first. So we have a bit of a delay. We can update you on some scores. It is Ohio Wesleyan 32, Otterbein 28 in the fourth quarter. W and J in a 7-7 ball game against a really good John Carroll program in the third quarter. And maybe the two best PHT teams going against the two best OAC teams. And Baldwin Wallace burying Hamden Sydney 31-10. That ball game has gone to quarter number three. So we're told that there is some sort of medical situation for perhaps someone in attendance here. It may even be a fan, so they're waiting on some medical personnel to come on over and help attend to the person in need. So we have a, a little bit of a delay. But looking ahead as far as this ball game goes and the schedules, these two teams will not be back in action until the 18th. So two weeks from right. today, a bye. Mount Union will tangle with Baldwin Wallace at home. And then it will be Westminster hitting the road to Case Western Reserve. So you have this game action now, and then it's going to be a little while. You had to wait a long time to play football again. Now you're going to wait a little bit more after this game. Case Western is a, is a PAC power, too. I mean, they're, they're, they're going right from the flames into the fire. So, so yeah, it's going to be a tough one for, uh, for Westminster to turn around two weeks from now and go to Cleveland to Case Western. In case you're just joining us, we'll catch up on how we got to this point. First quarter, Josh Petroselli with a 21-yard touchdown run, and that made it 7-0. Then it's Mountain Union's DeAndre Parker ripping off an 8-yard touchdown run to make it 14-0. Westminster got on the board. Chevy Dawson hauled in a 28-yard touchdown pass from Cole Kanitschka to cut the deficit to 14-7. Back to Josh Petroselli, 3-yard touchdown run in the second to make it 21-7. And Mountain Union tacked on seven more. Derek Harvey Jr. with the touchdown reception from Braxton Plunk. And then at the tail end of the second quarter, it's Josh Petroselli with his third touchdown of the first half, a two-yard touchdown run. That's how we got to this point. It is 35 to 7. Yeah, great to re great recap, Chad. And uh, you know, again, the uh, the Westminster Titans, you know, just as uh, just as Marcus told us with the coaching staff for Westminster, just continue, you know, to work on getting better, to work on some of these little things. There's certainly, you know, there's, they talk about no way to simulate game action, but, but uh, you talk about how can you simulate playing the number one team in the country? Say so WKBN Sports Team 27 has you covered 24 hours a day with in-depth coverage at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. 
There you'll find the latest scores, highlights, feature stories, and a lot more. Download the WKBN mobile app today. So in case you're wondering why the delay, we're waiting on a medical situation to get cleared up. I'm told they're waiting for an ambulance to attend to someone. I did see a fan helped off mm. from across the way on the Mount Union side, but players are continuing to stretch out. Fans are still in their seats awaiting the start of the third quarter, but we know as much as you do at this point in terms of when we're going to start, and we hope that is pretty soon. But Mount Union has so many weapons. Oh, it's unbelievable. At their disposal, it starts with Petroselli. They can run the ball. They can throw the ball as well. This is Jaden Manley on the receiving end. The big tight ends have put on a show. That's Chase Lawson with that prototypical body type. And then it's Derek Harvey Jr. And he's a big pass catcher for the Purple Raiders as well. I mean, all of their guys on their two deep, Chad. I think the running back, wide receiver positions, tight ends, you know, they, they, they would all be stars if you spread them around over the, you know, six or seven Division three teams. They're just all that good. Yes, they are. And I thought it was really interesting when we visited with Westminster head coach Scott Benzel, and he had nothing but the highest level of praise for this team that he's facing today, a, a national power, to put it plainly. And he said, look, you don't need any game film to know what Mount Union brings. He even knew the numbers off the top of his head. 817 wins all time coming in. That's 16th all time in divisions one, two, or three. And he called them a machine. And I think, interestingly enough, he said he calls them the Alabama of division three. They have been really the measuring stick for all teams at this level. And boy, they're putting on a show here in week one. We're gonna take a timeout and we'll see where we are in getting the third quarter resumed, or at least started at that point. It's 35-7 in favor of Mount Union. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Ryan Halicki, 33 WYTV Pinpoint Weather. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and takeout is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. The trades are back. We are the Newcastle School of Trades, and for 75 years, we have been your trade school. If it's a skilled trade, we probably teach it. Begin your new career now. Newcastle School of Trades. We are your trade school. Visit yourtradeschool.com to learn more. Come check out all the great deals at Boardman Mitsubishi. Our full lineup of Mitsubishi models comes with a standard 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Plus, we carry a great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles that are fully inspected and backed by Mitsubishi. And right now, get the all-new 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander for as low as $219 a month. For a great vehicle and a great experience, come to Boardman Mitsubishi today. Your hometown Mitsubishi dealer since 1999. Your job search just got easier at MyValleyJobsToday.com. Search right now at MyValleyJobsToday.com. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and takeout is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Regardless of the score, it has been a festive atmosphere since we walked into the stadium earlier this morning. Tailgaters out having fun, having some food, and enjoying themselves back in the college football atmosphere. Here for the first time in its truest form since a couple of falls ago. Of course, there was not this atmosphere back in the spring. Back in that shortened season that saw both of these teams 
bring back conference championships. But Westminster has some work to do. They knew it was going to be a tall task here today against Mountain Union. Let's take a look at some of the things that Westminster was able to do. We knew they had an outstanding quarterback in Cole Kanichka, and he hasn't had a whole heck of a lot of time to throw, but Kanichka, again, a good decision maker. Oh, yeah. He knew when it was time to get out of there. Oh, yeah, no question about it. He's, you know, he's terrific with his feet. He scrambles. He can, you know, kind of create time for his receivers with some of that stuff. And uh, we've seen him throw some great balls today, uh, you know, certainly to uh, the touchdown pass to Chevy Dawson. And he showed off a cannon of an arm that point. As fans are continuing just to wait this thing out, we've been waiting now for between five and ten minutes. The halftime clock expired, and we're told, just to be in full disclosure, that there's a medical situation taking place somewhere in the stadium. We're not exactly sure who's being attended to or where they are being attended to, but the players are doing their best to try and stay loosened up, and fans are sort of sitting on their hands and wondering, What's next? When, when can we play? But certainly, we're hopeful that whoever is in need of the medical attention gets that attention and that they're taken care of as well as humanly possible. Yeah, I think that the problem is, is that it's hard to get the ambulance in here. And uh, I think that I, I heard somewhere that they might, that might be one of the things that they're waiting for. As this place is jam-packed. And there's a lot of cars as you survey back throughout the surrounding areas and property. But Mountain Union has a 35-7 lead. Both teams, coaches from both sides, talking about the importance of protecting the football here. And Westminster's defense came to play. Big time pick and a nice nifty return, courtesy of Nicholas Trelor. And then that young man, Nicholas Trelor, came up with a strip sack. Not very often <laughs> that you get that strip sack and the recovery right and then that's a pretty looking interception by mountain unions giovanni witter so now the two teams have come back out onto the field and it looks like the whole teams are going to start loosening up and it's unclear how close we are to returning to game action yeah i, I actually do, don't think anybody knows i think it's just a, a case of where they can get the uh the attention that whoever needs it but uh, yeah certainly hoping that uh, hoping that they can take care of that situation and whoever needs the attention is uh, okay so we're in a medical timeout here it's not involving any of the players that we can tell someone in this stadium here needs to get a little help but it's 35-7, Mount Union leading Westminster in the season opener for both teams. Westminster comes into this one scheduling up, realizing they wanted to really bulk that schedule up. And what a way to kind of see where you are at this early point in the season. And both of these teams are going to get better from playing this game here today. No question about it. And, and, and that was kind of my point about uh, about. Westminster is as they the uh, you know again the, the Westminster playing the number one team in the country they uh, you know they, they just uh, they got a chance to really get better in Mount Union again they haven't been able to play against anybody else and they're out there really playing well in, in a precision so yeah it's uh, it's good it's good stuff well, we now see what we think is the long-awaited ambulance arrival And I see it now pulling in. But interestingly enough, I thought what head coach Scott Benzel told us earlier in the week, and the team motto is something that's very pertinent. He talked about taking his program from being yeah, good to great. I love that. Tell me what you think. I love that. Yeah, that's, that's just terrific. And again... You know, the, the Westminster football program has been, you know, good. Six, six, you know, six and five, seven and four, eight and three ish for a long time. Uh, but they win the PAC last year and uh, you know, competing with uh, Mount Union here. So they, uh, they, they, they're, they're well on their way they're coming off of that PAC title in the spring. So, uh, yeah, going to be, uh, that's, a, that's a great motto. I love that. 
Well, this is a great sign. The ambulance is back. Players are taking the field, and we're ready for the third quarter at long last. Here we go, finally. Chad Krispinski, Chris Birch with you. Mountain Union will get the football to start things here in quarter number three. And the kick is away, courtesy of Joshua Byers. And it is a touchback, first and ten, for the Purple Raiders. So coming back out, it is Braxton Plunk and company. And he had nearly a flawless first half of play. And that's, and that's, that's his calling card, right? He, he, he doesn't make mistakes. He, he's not, you know, he's not necessarily the superstar of this offense, but he, he just, he's got the keys to the, the keys to the offense, and he, he, he runs it efficiently and uh, makes plays and doesn't make mistakes. Colton stay on the perfect quarterback of this offense. The give is to Petroselli up the middle, bouncing off Titan defenders, keeping the legs churning. He's ahead of the 31-yard line. And a late penalty flag comes flying in. That hit Plunk on the shoulder. They say play to the whistle, but not after. And right. I think there was a little extracurricular there. And there's been a little bit of that, right? I mean, there, there actually has been a little bit of that. So maybe the officials kind of got together and... Uh, Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number yeah. 76. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. Second down. And that is Max Craig out of West Branch High School. And, and, and certainly, Chad, calling that on the first play of the game, uh, you, you know that the officials talked about it at halftime, and they made that a point of emphasis. You don't want things to get out of hand in terms of out of control, because then you get into the chippiness and the personal fouls and the unsportsmanlike penalties, and that's when you take and run the risk of players getting suspensions and whatnot. Yeah. Braxton Plunk has Petroselli to his right. Plunk to throw. He has time. He dumps it off, and Petroselli is thrown down on the play at the 20-yard line. Nicholas Trelor with another great play. Trelor out of Newcastle High School. Yeah. He's, he's certainly having a day here. I mean, he has been all over the field, tackles all over the place, the, the interception, the strip sack. And that's what you want to do is you want to take positives yes. out of games like this. He's been a huge he's bright spot. He's been a huge bright spot, yeah, no, no question about it. And when they, they get into conference play, you know, he's going to be one of the superstars of this defense. Third down and a dozen for Mount Union. Westminster trying to force the three and out, plunk to throw. He'll go up top downfield, and it is knocked away. Pass intended for Ulysses Gillard, the third. And again, terrific coverage for Westminster in that defensive backfield. It's Shamar Love. Yeah, great, uh, great, great job, uh, you know, kind of. Uh going step for step down the sideline and uh, able to knock it away. So a great uh, a great start by the Westminster defense, forcing a three and out and a punt, get the football back and maybe get something going. So Mount Union lines up in punt formation. Thomas Piccarillo set to boot it away and he gets away. A wobbly kick, which hits at the 49, takes a Mountain Union bounce and is touched down at the 46-yard line. First and 10 for Westminster. The area's best football players are part of WKBN's Big 22. It's sponsored by ASECU and Ingram, Cassis, and Grimm. Go to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. Of course, this region such a hotbed oh. for football talent in Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. Yeah. You're in the Big 22. You're you're you're, you're awfully good. <laughs> That's pretty much the uh, the truth of that. There's a lot of great high school football players in this area. Westminster opens things up on the ground. It is Ryan Gomes, and having none of it 
yeah. for Mount Union was Caleb to tell him. Yeah, that's his. Uh, <laughs> they've just they've not been able to get anything really established, anything rolling in that ground game, and that is all credit to uh, to Mount Union's defense. Mason McMillan was also there. Kanichka to throw. He completes a pass to the 49. That's Kevin Brown hauling it in. Kevin Brown's had a nice game. And, uh, you know, he's, he's just, he's kind of the underneath guy the, in the NFL. They call him the slot receiver, right? And uh, he's, 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 he's caught several passes and uh, has done a nice job. So Westminster is now facing third down and four. Four wide receivers set for Cole Konichka, who's back to throw, looking to the right side, incomplete. Pass intended for Chevy Dawson. And it'll bring up a fourth down and four play. Will they keep the offense out? And there is a fight that has broken out. And this is what you absolutely did not need at this point. Right. That's what we're talking about. The guys got to keep their helmets on, too. You see guys taking their helmets off. I'm not sure if those are automatic ejections or not, but uh... that's Duke Hill. Yeah. Who's all fired up and he's angry. Yeah, you I mean if you're Mount Union, you certainly want Duke Hill for uh, John Carroll, and you want these guys for Westminster. They're, they're going to Case Western, so you just hope nobody's ejected. Yeah, but that was a little more than just a little skirmish. Yeah, it was a little more than a little skirmish. It was well after the play, and then, like I said, you know, some players took their helmets off, and uh, that that I know at times has merited ejections, which of course automatically means you cannot play in the next game. So, Let's see what the officials we'll get the call to here. Yeah. play 68 of Westminster and zero of Mountain U have both been ejected from the game. And you thought that was going to be the case when you saw it escalate. And that's not good news no. for either side. No. And and there are times where and I, I've I've <laughs> you know talked about this at, on occasion that's where sometimes I wonder about the next game ejection part of it you know like maybe both of these guys need to need to have a shower for today's game but then you know two, two, two weeks from now you know in, in the next game now neither one of them are going to be able to play yeah, they got tangled up it happens so I'm not a I'm not a huge fan Chad of the automatic out the next game part of the ejections But Duke Hill has been tremendous yeah. throughout this ball game. He's been a force on the defensive side. Yeah. Hill getting pressure after pressure. A sack there. And now he'll sit the rest of this one out. Yeah. And next week or in two weeks, two weeks. as the case yeah, might be. That's even more painful. Trying to get. Okay, they're changing it. Okay, they're changing a uniform number. So things have taken a kind of a strange turn. Yeah, they turn sure here. have. It started the at the very delay. beginning of this. Now an ejection and guys changing jerseys and Here we go. For Westminster, formerly number 4 is now Number 70, he has reported. Let's go, y'all! Let's go! So Ian Barr has changed to number 70. Is that the, is that the deal? Well, there are three number fours listed on the roster, so not an easy proposition. It is Ian Barr. I'm told the punt is away. Spiraling kick. It will hit. And roll inside the 10, inside the 5, and into the end zone for a touchback. And now there's another skirmish. Another penalty flag has been thrown. And at this rate, we'll be here for 24 hours. Yeah. 
This has turned ugly. Yeah, it's and it it it. There was a little jawing and a little extra stuff, like in any game, in the first half. I I I, I'm just almost confused about why it's taken such a turn here. That old thing where one, you know one one injustice is intolerable and then the next one is intolerable and so on and so forth. Then they're taking now Barr is going back to number four. So he'll be taking the jersey off and putting it back on the rest of the afternoon. So we'll sort this thing out. And we're not off to a great start in the start of the third. No, such a, like, kind of a clean first half, you know, in, as far as... After the play, us forceful like conduct. Against the Mountain Union, number 13. The ball ended up in the end zone is for a touchback. It'll be penalized after the goal. First down. Well, that's Josh Jones, the defensive back, the junior from... Twinsburg, Ohio, and Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary High School. <laughs> Otherwise known as the high school that LeBron James went to. Yep. Yeah, let's, uh, I, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping here that, uh, you know, both of these tremendous programs, disciplined teams, generally speaking, great coaching staffs. I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be a little blip on the screen for how the rest of this game is going to go, going to go, because... Yeah, just odd, odd and uncharacteristic here these past couple of plays. Okay, so the Purple Raiders come back out. With a 35-7 lead, first down and 10. The quarterback is Braxton Plunk. The running back is senior Josh Petroselli. He has three touchdowns on the day to lead the way for the Purple Raiders. Now we seem to have everything in working order. And we'll be back to it here in just a second. Braxton Plunk will give it to Petroselli, trying to cut the corner, and Petroselli rimmed down behind the line of scrimmage. Nicholas Trelor again, making another play on defense as he was just able to, sort of you can see, kind of get out of the, shoot out of the way from that block and uh, not let him turn the corner. And uh, coming up to, uh, to, to help and run support is uh, Brayden Timmons. Loss of two on the play, second down and a dozen. One of the few times that Mount Union has been pinned in deep, facing second and long. That one is complete out to the 20. What a move to the 21-yard line. Calling that one in for Mount Union was Wayne Ruby. And the senior from Miami, Florida, moves the chains. Second and 12, no problem. First yeah. and 10 now. Yeah, no problem at all there. And, uh, Bryce Thomas making the tackle. But like you said, not before he was uh, kind of faked out of his shoes, but he was able to get a, a, a shoelace, shoelace tackle there. Empty backfield now. Now Petroselli joins Braxton Plunk. And the give is to Petroselli. Oh, he lost his footing. Loose football. It is still loose. And I think they may say yeah. that Petroselli's yeah. down. And again, he slipped. They want to think of changing the cleats. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Third it, time today it's happened to he, him. He slipped more than he's been tackled, it seems like, you know. And... Uh, yeah, that's the old, that's that classic, the ground can't cause a fumble uh, situation there. Is It's also a case of that turf monster coming up. And <laughs> that's amazing. Tripping yeah, up Petroselli. Second down and two. They give it again to Petroselli. Up the middle, he has a first down to the 35-yard line. A pretty good surge that time again by the Mount Union offensive line. And, you know, when you, you make the scouting report of, of, of Mount Union when you play them. You know, you're, as a coach, you're always trying to find bubbles, weak spots, weaknesses on, on your opponent to attack. There just isn't one for Mount Union. And there hasn't been for a long, long time. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, they've won 13 national championships and, and, and all of them in, in recent times, right? Oh, pretty much all of them in the past 28 years. Plunk to throw, heaves it downfield. It is caught at the 40-yard line. Ruby made the catch. She has another first down. And this offense is humming for the Purple Raiders. You know, just another, another big, tall target uh, for Braxton Plunk. And uh, he just hits him perfectly in stride and uh, big, big play, big first down pickup for Mount Union. First and 10 from the 40. Braxton Plunk fakes the handoff, looking to throw, incomplete. Ruby was in the vicinity. Officials discussing something here. So an ineligible man downfield. Yeah, which, uh, that happened pretty fast. Usually you see those plays happen when uh, there's like some scrambling around and one of the, the down linemen get down the field a little bit that time. Just a what, a three-step drop and a quick out. Second down in 15. See if Braxton Plunk takes a deep shot. No, keep it to the ground. This is Parker. He picked up a couple. You know, you try to look for, you know, you look for trends. You look for things, and uh, there's no question in this second half, the Westminster defense is kind of flying around and uh, just playing a little bit sharper. We saw it that play right there. I mean, basically, DeAndre Parker didn't have anywhere to go and was hit hard uh, before he was tackled, and uh, we didn't see much of that in the first half. Braxton Plunk, four wide receivers set. Plunk to throw, dumps it off. Ruby makes the catch, brings it back to the inside, back to the outside, 40. Ruby pushed out of bounds as he danced around. And it'll bring up a third down play, third and nine upcoming. Braxton Plunk got leveled at the tail end of this play. Oh, yeah. Brought down by Braden Timmons. Yeah, Timmons, a name we've we've called a lot today. Obviously had the catch on the uh, fake punt and uh, has done a lot of very good things. He's going to be another one of those bright spots that you talked about, Chad. When they watch the film of this game, regardless of what the final score ends up. Third and nine from the 39-yard line. Draw play, Parker dancing around, muscling his way inside the 35, trying to push that pile. He won't have the first down, but he came darn close. A couple of yards shy. Looks like about three yards short. And it's fourth down. And it looks like the offense will stay out there. Yeah. Yeah, you're certainly in four down territory here. And, uh, you know, you, we, we talked about it. Mount Union getting to rehearse a few things here. So they're going to see what, you know, see what they can dial up here on a fourth and short play. Fourth and four. Run play up the middle. Petroselli breaking tackles at Petroselli inside the five and ripped down at the four yard line. It is first and goal. Mount Union Purple Raiders have reached the BNR Wholesale Tire and Wheel Red Zone. Yeah, you know you're pretty good when the snap was high and Plunk took his eyes off the snap and barely was able to corral it, but still hands it off to Petroselli and he rumbles his way down the field and uh, picks up a first down and then some. And Petroselli powers his way in for the short touchdown run as Mount Union hurried back to the line of scrimmage. And it is now 41-7 pending the extra points. Yeah, that was a, uh, you know, again, just a absolutely precision drive by Mount Union. You know, they started, you know, pinned back by their own end zone and uh, were able to, to just kind of keep putting it together. They got themselves in a couple, two, third, and, and, and mid situations, were able to capitalize and uh, found the end zone again.
Extra point is no good. There was some pressure from the edge. 7.08 to play in the third. Mountain Union 41, Westminster 7 on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Len Rome and Jim Lowboy, 33 WYTV News Daybreak. I'm Wendy Perez. As you're aware, the real estate market is pretty hot. Housing inventory and interest rates are still low. Let's take advantage of this opportunity today. Call Wendy Perez, a top 2% nationally ranked realtor. Throughout this COVID pandemic, many people have felt more anxiety than ever before. At Churchill Counseling, we're here to help. We continue to offer all of our counseling and psychiatric services, both in person and through telehealth. Your mental health and wellness continues to be our priority. We work with individuals, couples, and families with locations in Canfield and Liberty. To learn more about the services we provide, visit churchillcounseling.com. When it's time to take back your life, call Churchill Counseling. We may be wearing different jerseys, but we're all on the same team at Fred Martin Ford. Our game plan is to provide you the best car buying experience ever by offering you the lowest prices on new and pre-owned vehicles, award-winning service, and an all-pro special finance department. There's room on our team for you, either as a customer or maybe an employee. Get on the winning team at Fred Martin Ford, where we sell for less. A lot less! I'm going to be traveling around featuring local businesses on our new series, My Valley Pros. To learn more, go to WYTV.com slash advertise. I'm Wendy Perez. It's not just another home, it's your home. When it's time to buy or sell, your goals are my goals. Call Wendy Perez, a top 2% nationally ranked realtor. And welcome back. Mount Union 41, Westminster 7. Four-yard touchdown run by Josh Petroselli. His fourth touchdown of the day on the ground. Ball is all teed up. And the kick is away. It's hauled in and taken across the 15 to the 20. I tell you what, popping pads all day long. Yeah, back down to the sideline, here's Marcus Tokar. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. I'll tell you what, you got to give credit to this Westminster sideline over there. When things were getting real nasty, Coach Jared Samuels down there pulling guys back, saying, keep your heads. We need to prevent any damage that hasn't already been done. A lot of people don't know if you're knocked out this game because of uh, something like that ejected, you'll be knocked out for the next one as well. So Westminster really trying to keep all their guys intact for when the real PAC competition begins. Jared Samuels, of course, He's the best. former head coach yep. at Farrell. Yep. He's the best at that in particular, at uh, getting guys to keep cool heads, state championship coach at Farrell. This one is dumped off, and a flag comes flying in. That's Marcel Smith-Austin out of Sharon. So we'll check out the flag. First down foul, face mask, 10 of the offense. 15 yards of the foul. First down. Yeah, the uh, ever popular offensive face mask. You don't call. see that much. Dale <laughs> Sizemore was listed as a wide receiver and a defensive back. So they'll mark it back at the 15 yard line. Cole Konichka, give it up the middle, and that hole closed immediately for Ryan Gomes. You know, I, I think it's 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 almost important to think about and remember how prolific this ground game for Westminster was last spring. So it's uh, I mean it's this defensive front for Mount Union is incredible. It'll bring up a second down. And 20 play. Kanichka back to throw. Floats it downfield. And it's caught at the 29-yard line. And fighting for some extra yardage on the receiving end. Looks like Jared Miller. Out of Mineral Ridge, a senior. <laughs> he just kind of slipped in there, slipped in behind the zone there. 
Really nice pass thrown by Kanichka. And, you know, there's one of those moments right there that we've talked about all day where Westminster's getting better, you know, because of this game. Titans keep it to the ground. Isaiah Canton fighting for yardage. And it'll bring up a fourth down and two play. Fourth down and two going to bring the, the punting team out. Certainly not four down territory there. You don't want to give Mount Union the short field. Tanner Dudek standing back at his own 20 yard line. And once again, Robbie Kirchner, a senior wide receiver from Maslin Perry High School, is back deep to return for Mount Union. And Dudek gets away a high driving spiral. Kirchner makes the catch at the 26-yard line. WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite, honoring the top high school football linemen in the Valley. It is sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. Go to WKBN.com and click on Sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. Chad Krispinski, Chris Birch with you. Marcus Tokar down on the sideline with us today. It's been a lot of fun here, Chad. There's no doubt about it. Two great college football teams going at it. Mount Union showing everyone certainly why they are number one in all of Division Three. As again, you, you watch this and you forget just how good Westminster is. No doubt about that. Run play goes to Parker and delivering a wicked lick. It was a young man we haven't had a chance to talk a lot about, or really at all, and that would be Ian Barr. And he is an outstanding football player that they have so many good things to say about, right. just for what he has contributed to this program through the course of his time here. We saw him earlier yeah. changing the jersey, <laughs> right, so <yeah>. selfless. <laughs> right. They call him the Terminator. Yeah, your superstar. Your superstar preseason all PAC guys out there changing into number 70 for you. <laughs> Every other play. Yeah, he's uh, he's just that kind of player. He uh, just so athletic and strong. And, uh, you know, just kind of one of those undersized uh, defensive players that uh, just has a knack of making plays. DeAndre Parker took a little screen pass. It's a first down for the Purple Raiders. Clock rolling down to 345 left. Look at the numbers for Braxton Plunk. Yeah, that's a pretty good day. He's back to throw, heaves it downfield, and it is caught inside the 25-yard line. Ruby on the receiving end, and he made that look easy. Yeah, you think Plunk and Ruby have maybe uh, run that route a few times uh, in the offseason? That looked perfect. It's like uh, like they had a, a basket on a uh, on a trolley or something, and uh, said, throw it right into the basket 50 yards down the field. And, uh, you know, to amuse the crowd, <laughs> Braxton Plunk did it right there. But uh, in this case, he was in a real game and uh, very, very impressive uh, play and players. From the 22, Plunk to throw, left it rip, incomplete. Intended for Ulysses Gillard III. There was Pretty, some zip on that pass yeah, for sure. Yeah, it had to be. He kind of threw it out there and threw it at a velocity that uh, only his guy was going to get it. But uh, give uh, give some credit to the uh, Westminster defensive backfield for uh, forcing that, you know, to, that, to be the only pass that was open. Second and 10 from the 22. Braxton Plunk with a back to each side. Three wide receivers set. Parker comes in motion. Movement. And a flag comes in. Little disorganization there. Snap and fresh. Yeah. By the center. Five yard penalty. Second down. Yeah, that's the, the, just everything about that play looked a little off right from the start. And then about half the guys were. <laughs> Half the guys were ready, and half the guys weren't, and the ball was snapped, so. It's 
So that'll make it second down and 15 for Mount Union. Braxton Plunk dumps it off and it's off the fingertips of Josh Petroselli. Yeah, it looks like Pat. Oh, sorry, Ted. Okay, flag on the. Is, there a flag? is that a flag there? Nope, looks like just some yellow shoes. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Petroselli, I think, wanted to come back for the football a little bit and uh, obviously Plunk. Do not read it that way. Third down and 15 now for Plunk. He's back to throw, surveying the scene, firing, and it's a sliding catch to the 11-yard line. And it looks like it's going to be enough for a first down as Mount Union once again has reached the BNR wholesale tire and wheel red zone. Yeah, Ulis Gillard again, kind of slipping in, be in in front of that zone that time. There's another great pass uh, thrown by, by Braxton Plunk. Plunk has shown tremendous velocity. He can make every throw. He is, that, you know, he's as good as he is at all of the intangible stuff. He can also make every throw. Plunk has his pass tipped, and it's almost intercepted. Perilously close to the pick for Westminster was Bryce Thomas. Yeah, was that Jared Cole that knocked that away at the line of scrimmage? Is that who that was? Let's, Let's see. see. Yeah, it was. Yep, that was Cole. Yep, great play by Jared Cole. Second down and 10 from the 12-yard line. It's 41-7 Mount Union. Braxton Plunk will give it. Parker will run, and he's slammed down. There's uh, Cole again. Jared Cole again making another play. Westminster defense again. You know, you, you, people are going to read this score on the... Uh, ticker on Twitter and think oh, it was dominated a one-sided game but uh, there's certainly some things that we see from Westminster that uh, they can they can build on and uh, focus in on third down and 11 and Braxton Plunk will call a timeout with one minute 40 seconds left to play in the third but you mentioned that Titan defense hmm. Those folks came to play. Now, they've been tested all day long by a tremendous football program, but they've not backed down. The coverage in the defensive backfield yeah. has been good, and well, when they get a chance, they'll land some hits on. Yeah, and again, again, you know, when we when we go on and we see what Mount Union does with the rest of their season, you know, some of the plays that were made in this game by this Westminster defense are you're going to be pretty memorable, and particularly when they get into, into President's Athletic Conference play. So, so lots of lots of positives. Again, you just, it, it's, it's one of those things where when you, you schedule the number one team in the country, when they come in and, and you know, you, you know what you're getting, but if you don't get their best, sometimes you have a chance to really compete in a game. But uh, Mount Union has come in here as the number one team and played very, very well. So it'll be third down and 11 for Mount Union. Ball is on the 13-yard line. Braxton Plunk will send out three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Parker to his left. Plunk to throw. Fires. End zone. Caught! And the officials will discuss, and it's a touchdown! Yeah, how about that? Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> oh, Pinpoint my. accuracy. And Eulis Gillard III somehow was able to get a foot down. Let's look. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> 
Wow, yeah, that was uh, just nifty footwork. Great, uh, great pass, certainly by Braxton Plunk. And uh... extra point is up, and it is good. 94 seconds left, and it is now a 48 7 football game. Yeah, really, the only <laughs> the only blemish on their uh, on their day so far has been the uh, the missed or blocked extra point uh, that Westminster was able to get. So, and they are uh, they're something. Every week we pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. It's sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at six on WKBN 27 First News. So. Huge ball game for Josh Petroselli. Four touchdowns for him. Two touchdown passes for Braxton Plunk. And it's 48-7. The beat goes on for the Mount Union Purple Raiders. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's uh it's <laughs> it's it's been since 2017 since they've won a national championship, and that's a lot of years for them with what they've had rolling there between 1993 and 2017 so they're, they're hungry and you can tell this this particular football team has every sort of element in place to be in the hunt for that uh, in, in, in December. And a fair catch is called for and made at the 16 yard line by Tavares Brown. And so it'll be first and 10 for Westminster at the 25 with 134 to play in the quarter. It almost looked like Brown kind of almost did that by, by inadvertently or by accident. He, you know, he had a little bit of running room there, but uh, and then he took off running, maybe thinking, oh, nobody, maybe nobody saw. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's see what the Westminster offense can, can, get, can get going here as we make the turn towards the fourth quarter. Ryan Gomes to the right of Cole Konechka. They give this to Gomes. Gomes puts his head down and pushes his way up to the 29-yard line for a small pickup on first down. Yeah, this, uh, I, 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 for you think about all the impressive things Mount Union has been able to do today. I think the thing I'm the most impressed with is how they played up front defensively. Konechka completes that one up to the 34-yard line. They may even give him the 35. It's enough for a first down. That defense against the run for Mount Union has been very, very stingy, hard-hitting, not allowing much, if anything, at all on the ground. No, and that's the only way you can beat them is, uh, you know, kind of playing keep away, and you're just not going to be able to do that if you can't establish the run. And again, it was Ryan Gomes for a short pickup, maybe a yard on the play. Yeah, I mean, that, that play pretty pretty well fit right into our highlight, right? I mean, it was just a little bit of running room, but then closed quickly and some very hard hitting right around the line of scrimmage, and you grind out one yard. Second and nine from the 36. Kanichka on the keeper, and he got knocked down. He has Jalen Griffin coming up from that uh, safety position. And I think that's going to do it for us here in the third quarter at will. We head to the fourth quarter, Mount Union 48, Westminster 7 on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Aaron Dean, weeknights on 33 WYTV News. Coca's Pizza, always supporting our community and our local athletes. Stop in on game day or score big and have it delivered right to your door. Check out our daily specials at cocospizza.com. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Sheely's is teaming up with the American Legion to support current and former military members, families, and communities by offering $100 off a $1,000 or more purchase when you donate $10. Planning to update or upgrade? With thousands of furniture and appliance choices at everyday low prices, you'll find everything you need for the spaces you love. Plus, get it all with 12 or 24 month special financing and free local delivery. Sheely's, the best things in life happen at home.
If you are a car buff, you need to visit TP Tools in Canfield. For over 40 years, we've been specializing in automotive restoration tools and auto body supplies. From paints and primers to our famous Made in USA scat blast sandblasting cabinets and high quality air compressors, we have the tools you need. Over 1,000 USA made products in stock on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Be sure to stop by our antique car museum. Over 50 cars on display. TP Tools and Equipment on Route 446 in Canfield. At Laurel Business and Technical Institutes, you experience your education through hands-on labs and simulations. Our faculty get you ready for the high-demand jobs in our local workforce. When you choose Laurel, you're getting a local school that doesn't just get you a degree. We have a plan to get you from the classroom to your career. At Laurel, on-the-job training and our internships and clinical rotations builds a bridge from school to your first job. Laurel Business and Technical Institutes, online and on ground. Visit laurel.edu to learn more. Coca's Pizza, proud to announce our pizza buffet's back every Wednesday at our Boardman and Campfield locations. Adults only $7.99 and kids only $4.99 and $2 beers starting at 8 o'clock. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. 15 minutes to play. Mount Union with a 48-7 lead over Westminster. As we welcome you back, third down and nine upcoming. For the Titans from Westminster. New running back has checked in. Looks like Noah Petro is into the ball game. Kanich get a throw. Fires to the left side. It is complete. Up to the 43-yard line. Reception made by Kevin Brown. It's about a yard shy of a first down. Of course, they'll keep the offense out there. Here it is, just a yard shy. Pretty close there to make the stop. Is Derek Bradley. Titans trying to get a push up front on fourth down. And it all depends on the spot now whether this drive will continue. Looks like they got it. Yep, they yep. did. First yeah. and ten, Westminster. Uh, I am right along the yard line that, uh, <laughs> that that was in. And I could see the nose of the football in front of the white line. So good little push by Westminster. And a good job getting a first down and keeping the offense on the field there. So first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Konichka dumps it off to the near side. It is complete, but not for much. In fact, Marcel Smith-Austin pushed back. He lost a couple of yards on the play. There to make the stop for Mount Union was Jesse Vale. Yeah, Jesse Vale was there. There was also about three other players. Yeah, just absolutely nowhere to go. Yeah, four of them. No, three of them. There comes the fourth. Incredible pursuit, this defense. Second down in a dozen. Noah Petro, freshman from Oil City in the backfield. And, boy, there was immense pressure. A late hit on the quarterback as Konichka got decked again. So two fouls on the play. Right. One early and one at the end. Yeah, I think uh, Jacob Scott kind of pleading his case that I, you know, I was trying to help him out, and one of his teammates came over to push me away. There's two fouls on the play. Offsides. Number nine, that, that play will be declined. Personal foul. Hit to the head by the Miami player on the quarterback. 15 yards, first out. Okay. So it wasn't the roughness after the play. It was the blow to the head. Yeah, it was the blow to the head during the play. So, all right. That... So they're going to mark it down at the 42 of Mount Union. Cole Konichka. Looking to dump it off, pumping once, now firing, it is complete, and it is almost intercepted off the deflection. And both players there shaken up. Fortunately for Westminster, Marcel Smith-Austin kind of getting up, but you can see the defensive back that administered the hit for Mount Union. Yeah. Slow to get up. 
Marcus Sire, the uh, linebacker, I guess, not a defensive back. Yeah, he's coming off. Giovanni Witter delivered the hit that popped the ball free. And both players coming off. So it goes as an incompletion. Second down and 10 for Westminster from the Mountain Union 42. Cole Konichka back to throw. He fires, and it is caught inside the 35 at the 32-yard line. So in traffic, Konichka tremendously accurate. Yeah. That pass was complete once again to Kevin Brown. Yeah, Brown did a great job coming back for the football and then kind of grinding out a yard or two to get a first down. Konichka completes the pass. It's inside the 30. Down to about the 28-yard line on the receiving end of that one Brady was Callahan. Brady Callahan. It was. Yeah, Brady Callahan, another local guy, Mercer County guy, Grove City grad. Good to see him out there getting a reception. And we have an official's timeout for an injury. Let's check out some scores. Will we have an opportunity? Ohio Wesleyan 32, Otterbine 28. That's a final. WJ with a two touchdown lead over John Carroll. That ball game has gone to the fourth quarter. And it is Baldwin Wallace 45, Hampton Sydney 17, Allegheny all over Teal 42 14. Both of those games have gone to the fourth quarter. So the injured. Mount Union Purple Raider is Josh Jones. And he'll slowly limp his way off the field under his own power. Yeah, that's the other thing you start to think about here, maybe if you're Mount Union, is uh, at what point do you rest some of your stars? You know, at what point do you say, all right, we, we, don't, we don't want any injuries here, even though you have next week off. That, that uh, minor injury right there might, might kind of be able to serve as a wake-up call for Mount Union to start to get some of their other guys in there. Konichka throwing incomplete inside the five. He's looking for Chevy Dawson. Jalen Griffin on a corner blitz is coming at him, and uh, yeah, he had the Konichka had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. Nobody home, nobody there. That'll bring up a third down and 10 play. So Westminster will send out three wide receivers set. Petro is the running back. Konitschka looking to throw. And it is intercepted at the 19-yard line. And another turnover as a flag comes flying in at the tail end of the play. That's Aaron Hawk, yeah. senior from Lakewood, California. There is no flag on the play. So the flag is picked up. Yeah, just, yeah, you can just see the, uh, something got messed up there between Konichka and Chevy Dawson. Hawk kind of there on the, Johnny on the spot, didn't really even have to move much to uh, make that interception and, uh, so Mount Union up 48 to 7 with 12.41 to go. He's going to get the football back. So first and 10 from the 19 yard line now for the Mount Union Purple Raiders. Fourth turnover when you combine two for each side. And it looks like. We may have a new quarterback in there. Six. We do. It is Todd Simmons. Yep. First down. He's a senior from Tiffin, Ohio. Good move. So exactly what you thought might happen. Braxton Plunk's day is complete, and he was tremendous. Tremendous. Yep. Just, you know, you just don't even, you, he does so many good things, you just don't even notice, because he doesn't ever do anything wrong. Purple Raiders, regardless of whoever is running the ball, continuing to just get positive yardage. And that time, another new face in there, K.J. Redman, 
He's an Ohio native out of Fairborn, Ohio. Purple Raiders senior. And Simmons will give again. All kinds of running room for K.J. Redman across the 30, up to the 31-yard line, and that's a first down. Imagine, Redman is the third back, so he's, he's number three. But you can tell just by that run right there that he's very good, and uh, the cutbacks, all three of these Mount Union running backs now, we see just tremendous on the cutbacks. We have a look at the rushing yards on the day. Mountain Union has gotten it done on the ground and through the air. Simmons gives. This is K.J. Redman again. Across the 35, up near the 38-yard line. Somebody lost a helmet, yeah. so they're going to have to come out. One of the Westminster players. It yeah, looks like Ty Reeder, defensive end. Losing his helmet has got to has to come out for one play. So yeah, Ty Reeder out of Ursuline High School. Pretty good football program there too, Chad, as Not you well bad. know. <laughs> and they had a tough one last night and lost to Chardon, yeah. but they're outstanding this year. Loose football. And Westminster has recovered, and pouncing on it was Brandon Millward. And Brandon Millward uh, just kind of Johnny on the spot there. Ball bounced up uh, when it was knocked away. We'll see who knocked it away, or if it was just fumbled. Yeah, no, number 22 knocked it away, Chad. So great Bryce job, Thomas. Bryce Thomas, doing a great job there, and. Uh, Brandon Millward, number 44, so 22 and 44. Getting it done for the Westminster defense on that play. So a chance for Westminster to put some more points on the scoreboard, and it looks like the front line offense is back out there. Konichka turns, gives, loose football, and another fumble, and Mount Union pounces right on it. Elijah Birch, the former Warren Harding Raider, is there, and he recovers the fumble. And the Purple Raiders get it right back. Yeah. Uh, you know, there, there's just certain things it seems like sometimes that great teams do. And it almost always is the great teams, if they make a mistake, they make a play right away after they make the mistake. And then we just kind of see Mount Union doing what Mount Union does there. So Amazing. Mount Union comes back out. First down and 10. The line of scrimmage is the 41. Looks like Lance Mitchell has checked into the backfield now, wearing number 24. Simmons will give it to Mitchell. He breaks a tackle, bounces off another tackle, and hands the football back to the official, popping right back up. Yeah, that doesn't change no matter who they put in the game, and that is the, uh, the offensive lineman will, will open areas for the uh, for the running back to move through and all the running backs they basically look like they they run the same it's the way they recruit them and the way that they teach them and a uh, very very impressive stable of backs for Mount Union again it's Mitchell he was swarmed upon he may have lost a yard on the play now we'll give him a little bit of positive yardage there yeah. That'll set up a third down and short play. Third and three. From the 48. And Mount Union has been uh, really, really good in these third and a couple of fourth and short situations. See if Westminster can't make something happen here. Simmons back to throw. Has time. Floats it downfield, and it's into the bench on the near sideline. And it'll be fourth and three upcoming for Mount Union. All right, great job for West by Westminster. You know, for forcing a fourth down on third and three, and Mount Union will be will elect to uh, to, to punt. So back out is Thomas Piccarillo to punt the football away. 
And back deep to return for Westminster is Kevin Brown. Piccarillo gets the kick away, angling it towards the far sideline. It'll take a Mountain Union bounce. It'll continue to roll and roll and roll some more inside the five-yard line. It'll be touched down at the three. Back after this, all Mountain Union on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Ryan Halicki, 33 WYTV Pinpoint Weather. Here at BNR Wholesale Tire Wheel, we stock all name brand tires. Goodyear, Cooper, Kelly, Michelin, and many more. BNR Wholesale Tire, we know about money you keep. A shopping trip up and down to 24. Why does it always Stay feel so slow? Like the seasons change. And that's a look at today's weather. Skip the crazy traffic. Find everything you want in one place. Get it here. Get it now at the Eastwood Mall. A lot has changed from when my great-grandpa started goat heating 66 years ago. But the one thing that hasn't changed is our family's dedication to serving yours. For three generations, we've been committed to being the heating and cooling company of the Mahoning Valley. With dedicated in-house dispatching, demand service, plan maintenance, and installation of heating, cooling, and indoor air quality products, Galt is proud to be your trusted heating and cooling provider now and into the future. Go, Go with Galt. Galt! If you're hiring, we can help. Post your job with us right now. Go to myvalleyjobstoday.com. BNR Wholesale Tire Wheel is your official truck headquarters. We can professionally install a level or full lift kit on all brand trucks. BNR Wholesale Tire, we know about the money you keep. For the Purple Raiders from Mountain Union. The give is to Petro, and Petro powers his way ahead to the nine yard line for a pickup of six. Petro out of Boyle City High School. I, I think that might be the, the, the longest run from other than a quarterback, uh, you know, keeper for Westminster of the day. Or, or so, certainly a positive to look at. Second down and four. The give again is to Petro. And he muscles his way up across the 10, out to the 12. Maybe the 13. Mitchum Petro from Oil City. Of course, Oil City, such a great run the past couple of years. I'm not surprised to see some of their players matriculating to some of the local college programs. Titans keep it to the ground on third down and short. And it's going to be fourth down upcoming. And the punt team will come back out for Westminster. Yeah. At this point, we want to wind this 8.15 down yeah. and just get out of here healthy if you're both sides right. now. I'm, I'm sure Mount Union is very good at killing clock, too. You know, that's, they're good at just about everything else. So uh, that's probably going to be the goal for this particular upcoming series. Tanner Dudek in punt formation for Westminster. He gets the kick away. It is a short, wobbly kick. It hits at the 29. It'll take a Westminster roll and be touched down at the 33-yard line. Watch for the Acura Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi plays of the week. They come your way every Sunday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27. It just kind of hit off the side of his foot a little bit, and uh, he didn't really get a full follow-through. So, talking about Mount Union maybe killing clock, but uh, <laughs> they're going to take over first and 10 on the Westminster uh, 38. So, uh, they're looking to score again. First down and 10. And the give is to Lance Mitchell. He is brought down immediately. And there to make the tackle, a young man we've been saying his name all afternoon, Newcastle graduate Nicholas Trelor. Trelor's been great. And again, remember, he's doing all of this stuff against the number one team in the country. So great job by Trelor. I guess they got the ball in the 
The 33, huh, Chad? My, my, my math was bad. I'm not very good at math. <laughs> Second down and a dozen. From the 35-yard line, the quarterback remains Todd Simmons. Purple Raiders keep it to the ground. Mitchell, good, strong, hard running. Down inside the 30. Or maybe right at the 30. And it'll set up a third down play. Third down play. Certainly, you know, you'd think this would be four down territory. They could attempt a long field goal if they don't pick up the first down here. But uh, I, I almost think we would assume with the time and score and uh, where the ball is, probably be a... Two, two more plays to uh, try to get uh, seven yards. Simmons back to throw. Looking. He will roll to the right side. And he will tuck it, and he will be pushed out of bounds, shy of the first down. But there's a penalty flag down. In all likelihood, it's a hold as Simmons tried to cut the corner on the edge. Yep. Yeah, they're going to get Lance Mitchell for that hold out on the edge that sprung Holy Simmons. Offense, number 24. Yep. Daniels from the Scott. Yeah, watch. Just a little hold out here on the edge. Right there. Yep, there it is. That's the, uh, that's the hold. Good call. So they'll march it all the way back to the 40-yard line. That's one of those ones the coaches and the players who get called that they argue that happens on every play. Yeah, but not out on an island like that. You know, th those are the ones they're going to call every time. Yeah, pretty obvious it is. Yep. And it's third and 17. KJ Redman is checked back into the backfield, joining Todd Simmons. Three wide receivers to the left, one far side to the right. And Simmons looks to throw. He fires downfield, incomplete. Good coverage downfield for Westminster. As that was Kamari Clark on in coverage for the Titans. And it's fourth and 17. Yeah, good job by the Westminster defense there. Right, third, third and short, and uh, they hold on that play, and there's a penalty, and then uh, did a great job in the defensive secondary, get a little pressure on Simmons, and... Uh, Gonna force the punt. So back into punt comes Thomas Piccarillo. And you want to talk about perfect coverage downfield? That's it right there. Yeah. 48 7, Mountain Union on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Lindsay Watson, weeknights on 33 WYTV News. The trades are back. We are the Newcastle School of Trades, and for 75 years, we have been your trade school. If it's a skilled trade, we probably teach it. Begin your new career now. Newcastle School of Trades, we are your trade school. Visit yourtradeschool.com to learn more. If you want a great deal on a small SUV, you'll get it at the Stadium GM Used Cars Superstore. Our used car lot is stocked with terrains, trucks, equinoxes, and encores. And as always, you'll save more than anywhere else. Here's an example. Right now, you can get a great Chevy Equinox for as little as $2.29 a month with zero down. Stop in for your great deal on a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV and save. And if you have a leased car, we'll buy it and you can make thousands. All at the store that always gives you more. The Stadium GM Used Cars Superstore in Salem. For all your legal needs, turn to the trusted attorneys at Ingram, Cassis, and Grem. If you or a loved one were harmed or injured in an accident caused by another's negligence, you need immediate representation to deal with the insurance company and to obtain full and fair compensation. At ICG, our personal injury lawyers are highly skilled in this difficult area of law. Hire a law firm of local lawyers willing to give you the attention that you deserve. Local obituaries and calling hours from all four counties. Easy to read, easy to search. MyValleyTributes.com. Left to play here in the fourth quarter. Mountain Union rolling 48-7. And it is first down and 10 for Westminster quarterback Cole Kanichka. We'll keep it to the ground. 
And on the carry, that time it's Isaiah Canton. He's cut down quickly. Ian Sexton, it looked like he was going to be able to make something happen there, but uh, Sexton able to get right in the hole. Watch this. Yeah, it looks like he's going to get something going here, and then here comes Sexton. Perfect fundamental ankle tackle. High snap. Titans keep it to the ground, and that hole is clogged up as soon as the handoff was delivered. And it's hard to pinpoint one player because they were all there up right, front. Right. That's what their defensive line has done all day uh, you know, and will do all season, right, is just clog it up and make it impossible to run. So it's third down and 10 now from the five-yard line. Titans keep it to the ground. And Canton is dropped immediately. And the punt team will come back out. Nothing, nothing particularly flashy about the way that, you know, that uh, they play defense, right? They just get it done. They just force you into in the third and longs after your first two plays and get off the field and uh, can't help but be really, really impressed with this Mountain Union defense. Tanner Dudek has been busy today. He gets away the kick angled towards the near sideline. It will hit and be touched down at the 31-yard line and the Mountain Union offense will come back out first down and 10. It hasn't been the cleanest <laughs> second half of play no. here in the opener. Of course, Konichka here throws the pick. That sets up the Purple Raiders. And then we have a fumble recovered by Mount Union. And then the very next play, or the next series, <laughs> Elijah Birch pounces on it. And the Purple Raiders... Got it right back. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's it's been an interesting second half for sure. This one dumped off to Redman, and Redman is going to lose a yard on the play. Very short pass into the flat, and it's a loss of a yard. Great job by Daniel Timmons getting out there for the Titans and making a play. Yeah, I mean we had the delay to start the second half, Chad, and then we had the. Uh, the little mini fight that resulted in a couple of ejections and then, you know, like uh, like we just saw, look, some sloppy play. So really a contrast between the first half that went, moved fast and was crisp. Simmons will keep it himself and he slides down at the 29-yard line, not risking an injury, but he also avoids potentially turning it over. And then he also keeps the clock moving. Keeps the clock moving. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, that's the big. That's the biggest of the three. Well, maybe injury is the biggest of the three, but that's certainly when he's thinking that. That's what he's thinking there. Stay in bounds. Stay in the middle of the field. Don't throw an ill-advised incomplete pass. So it's third down and nine. From the 30-yard line, Todd Simmons will give it over the left side. And it's down to the 26-yard line. K.J. Redman. And the Purple Raiders will let this play clock wind all the way down and probably call a timeout in 23 seconds. Yeah. Get it under the two-minute mark. Play clock down to 12. Simmons with four seconds. No, they'll snap it. Simmons, quarterback, draw straight up the middle, and he is able to get to the 15-yard line. First down, Mountain Union. Everything going the way as the Purple Raiders have reached the BNR wholesale Tyron Wheel Red Zone. Simmons, a uh, you could tell. I mean, he talk about a backup this guy's a backup quarterback he'd probably be the starter and the first team all-conference guy uh, in a lot of programs a senior 
Made a really heady couple of plays right there. So we're inside of 90 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And a timeout has been taken by Mount Union. As far as what lies ahead for these two teams, the upcoming schedule, we already mentioned that both of them will be off next week. Kind of a scheduling quirk, if yeah, you will. Right. But Westminster will we'll start with Mount Union. We'll tangle with Baldwin Wallace on the 18th, then hit the road to John Carroll for a big one. Two good, two great yeah. games, right? Two of the better OAC teams right off the bat for the Purple Raiders. Yeah, not wait until the very end of the season and then fast forward to the month of October. Hard to imagine we're already I know. having that on the radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we look at Westminster. Yeah. Case Western Reserve, a road game, then Grove City, and then another road game at Teal. It should be a lot of fun. So, again, Westminster, Case Western, Grove City, two of the upper echelon of the, the, the PAC. So these teams are going to learn, learn, learn some things from this game, get a week off, and then get thrown right into the teeth of their conference schedules. They will be well-conditioned when that time rolls around, that's for sure, in terms of being battle-tested. And now into victory formation will step the Mountain Union Purple Raiders. And we'll have to snap it another time or two, and then this one will be in the books. But it was a lot of fun here today at Westminster College. And again, much thanks to all the fine folks here for their tremendous hospitality at Bury Stadium. Here in New Wilmington, and certainly best of luck to both of these teams. We were thrilled to be here to bring you live college football once again and looking forward to bringing you more down the road here in a couple of weeks and into the next several months. So we're inside the final 30 seconds. Our final thought here is flexing their muscles. Did the Mountain Union Purple Raiders as good as advertised? Yeah. They are going to be right in the mix yeah. to win it all again this year. Yeah, that's the line, as good as advertised. There's no doubt about it. They are a, uh, you know, a team that's they're, 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 their bar every year is winning the national championship, and this team right here is that caliber for sure. Final seconds tick on down. Final score in this one here today. It is the Mount Union Purple Raiders 48, the, Mount, the Westminster Titans 7. We'll be back after this on the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. WYTV.com, your home for community news. They are the doers, the selfless, the men and women giving tirelessly to the people of the Valley through their time, talents, and love. They are our hometown heroes. To nominate someone deserving, go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Heroes under the Community tab. See a new hero every Wednesday at 6 on 33 WYTV. Hometown Heroes, sponsored by Window World and Cavelli Enterprises. Next day, break the long-termers when you can't shake the COVID. We'll shake off the rain for Labor Day with warm sunshine. While Nugget chokes on a disgusting jelly bean. Daybreak, add some flavor to your morning. Every Friday, the games, the plays, the highlights you can't miss. Catch them all on Football Friday. Every week on 33 News at 11. We're your home for high school football from across the valley. Don't miss the action. Watch 33 Football Friday. Friday nights at 11 on 33 WYTV. Sponsored by Laurel Technical Institute and Millstone Farm and Garden Center. Staying safe, it's important for all of us, including our children. 
That's why 33 WYTV brings you Keeping Kids Safe every Monday night at 11. We identify issues all parents should know, whether you have an infant or teenager. Keeping Kids Safe, Monday nights at 11 on 33 WYTV or online anytime at WYTV.com. Keeping Kids Safe, sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services. Need a job? Find one here in the Valley at MyValleyJobsToday.com. Thousands of local jobs are available now at your fingertips. Search, research employers, and even create customized alerts. It's all available at MyValleyJobsToday.com. Local jobs for local people. Your job search just got easier. MyValleyJobsToday.com. And welcome back to Westminster College. Mountain Union rolling past Westminster by a final score of 48 to 7 in the season opener between both teams. It's now time to select our player of the game. Our player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print. Josh Petroselli finishes with four rushing touchdowns, leading the way for the Purple Raiders, and he joins us now. Josh, congratulations on a great performance. What's it mean to come out and make a statement like this in the opener? Uh, it's huge for us, especially coming off the spring season, um, just getting the reps in, and it's a huge game, just two ranked teams, and it, it big steps ahead. How motivated is this group? You know what the tradition is at Mount Union. You know what the expectations are from your coaches, from the fans, from the school itself. How much pressure do you guys have as a team to really fill that? Uh, we got a ton of pressure, especially with a new head coach stepping in. It's only been his uh, second season, and all the expectations we have to be the best team in the country, uh, there's a ton of pressure on the team. Tell me about your performance here today. You grind those out. You're a veteran player. You get to the end zone four times. What a way to start the season. Assess what you did here today. Uh, we, I mean, the whole offense, we just ran the ball well. It all starts with the five alignment up front. They were making their blocks and giving us all the running backs holes to run. And uh, you saw what happened. We were able to score uh, five rushing touchdowns today. What was it like, obviously, to play in a football atmosphere? Obviously, you didn't get to have that last spring with all the restrictions for fans and whatnot, but to have an atmosphere like this, the buzz, the energy, the enthusiasm, how special was that for you and your team here today? Uh, it, was, it was really cool, especially all the West, even the Westminster fans, they had a ton, and we had a ton of fans on our side. It's just... It feels like football is back officially, and it's awesome. Last thing, what are your expectations? You know what they are from the outside. What are your expectations for this Purple Raider team here this fall? Uh, one and know every week, and then winning it all, of course. Well said. Congratulations on a great performance. All the best to you moving forward here this fall. Thank you. That's Josh Petroselli. Four rushing touchdowns, 95 rushing yards, helping Mount Union to a 48-7 victory over Westminster. We'll continue our post-game coverage after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN College Football Game of the Week. Local obituaries and calling hours at MyValleyTributes.com. WKBN 27 presents the high school football game of the week. Two Valley Powers battle for bragging rights on Friday night. Irish. Falcons. Ursuline takes on Austin Town Fitch. Live at 7, only on MyYTV. And streaming on WKBN.com. Sponsored by Sheeves and Stadium GM. Get a great deal now on used cars at MyValleyCars.com. Go to MyValleyCars.com to see great deals on local used cars. Sponsored by ASECU, the place to go for auto loans. From your hometown to our studio. Community is at the heart of what we do here at 33 News. 
covering local stories is our passion and commitment to you. And pinpointing accurate weather, that's a promise. With a community-minded team that you can depend on. There's nothing our valley can't do. To us, this isn't work. It's what keeps us all connected. We are your hometown news team. And, and we, we believe, believe in, in this valley. valley. Local obituaries and calling hours from our four counties. You can see them all at MyValleyTributes.com. Easy to read, easy to search. Get them on your computer or even on your phone. MyValleyTributes.com. Coming up on My Valley Pros, Richard Begala from Window Depot is here to show us how we created a new home at the same address. With new siding, windows, and so much more, and save them money, too. That's coming up on My Valley Pros. Time. There's never enough. You don't have any to waste. You want your weather in the morning, and you want to know when it's on. With 33 pinpoint weather on the threes, you always know when your daily forecast is on. You never have to search for your weather news. If the clock ends in three, it's on. The Valley's most experienced morning meteorologist preparing you for the day. 33 WYTV pinpoint weather on the threes. Weekday mornings from 5 to 7.